Peace, peace, what's good? Sali, coming at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to show y'all how to clear crystals and also how to charge them. It's a very simple process, but it's one of those things where if you don't know what it is or what to do, then it seems sort of complex and like, how do you do this or whatever. So this video is going to be a very good reference point for people who want to know how to clear the crystals and also how to charge the crystals. Now, we've recently populated a bunch of crystals on our website, thirdeyeactivation.com. And, you know, peace and blessings, thanks for all the support for everybody that's come to the store and bought the single crystals and also our crystal set. So, um, I figured it'd be a very good video for people that's buying the crystals from us and just if you're buying crystals, period. So you know how to clear them, how to charge them. I recommend that you clear the crystals. All the crystals from our website, I recommend that you clear them and also charge them. Now the Stones of Power, which are uh, magically enhanced <laughs> crystals, you don't have to charge them or you don't have to clear them. You just have to get and start working with it. Um, you want to know more information about that, make sure to visit the site and check out Stones of Power. But for crystals that you're getting from a store, crystals you're getting from the internet or from us, I recommend that you clear them and charge them. So I'm going to show y'all a couple ways how to do it. Um, these are our newest sets. This is the third eye crystal set and also the seven chakra crystal set. Each set comes with an identification card or description card and also the stones. Um, so I'm going to use one of these to show y'all how to clear them. So you just take a crystal or whatever crystals you want to charge. The way I normally like to clear crystals, I mean clear them, is I like to use a sage stick. Sage sticks are very affordable, very cheap. You can get these from a botanical, metaphysical shop, a magic shop, or you can get it online. But Honestly, I recommend that you just get it from a local store. All you have to do is, is light the sage stick. So you light it, you see smokes coming out. Take the crystal and just let it, let the smoke embody it. While you're holding it, just think about the, the crystal being clear. So just think in your mind, clear, clear, clear. Let's do it for a few seconds. That's all you have to do. This crystal is now clear. The sage, what it does is it clears and purifies the aura of the crystal. All living things have an aura. When you put sage to it, it's going to clear the aura around the crystal. So it's a very quick easy affordable way on how to clear the crystal if you have multiple crystals you just go through and just start clearing them and just only got only thing you have to do is think in your mind clear so that's how you could that's one way of how to clear the crystal another way that you can clear the crystal is by getting a bowl of sea salt I don't have any salt in here but just imagine if this bowl has sea salt in it put the sea salt in the bowl then place your crystals and kind of have it where it's submerging the crystals if you can. But you just want to make the crystals have a lot of contact with the sea salt. You can sit this um, overnight or you can sit it in there for a few hours. Whatever your spirit is guiding you to do. So put the crystals in some sea salt. Let it sit a few hours or let it sit overnight. That's another way of how to clear the crystals. So you got two simple and easy ways on how to clear the crystals. Now to charge the crystals, what you can do to charge the crystals, and this, when you're charging it, you're just adding extra energy to it. You've cleared it of all the negative energy and all the pre-programming that other people have installed in the crystal. Now you want to charge it or put it back in a state where it can work properly for you. To do this, all you have to do is sit it in direct sunlight. You can sit it in sunlight for an hour or you can sit in that sunlight for up to uh, however long you want to, a few hours or all day. But just sitting it in, in sunlight and allowing the sun rays to hit the crystal will give it an automatic charge. 
Now, there's some people who only recommend charging your crystals with the moonlight. If you feel so, um, if you feel like the moonlight is more powerful than the sun, then set your crystals in the moonlight. So you'll set the crystals out overnight, letting the moon hit it. So me personally, I recommend that you use the sun to charge the crystals because that's dealing with the sun, it's light, crystals, it's the physical representation of the pineal gland. Um, with your third eye, your pineal gland being light sensitive, it's, it's sparked or energized by the sun. That's why sun gazing is important for activating the pineal gland. So you look at this same model when you look at crystals, you set the crystals in sunlight, it's going to give it an extra charge. So this has been a real quick video and very simple video. Clear the crystals, charge the crystals. And like I said, I recommend that all the crystals you get from our website, thirdeyeactivation.com, um, to go ahead and clear, especially these sets and these single crystals. The stones of power on our website, you do not need to clear them. You do not need to charge them. They come fully charged for you and ready for you to work with. Um, last, I'll leave y'all with, um, give y'all a little insight into our new, newest sets. Seven chakra set, like I said, it comes with a bag and it comes with seven crystals. On the identification card, if you can see it, at least it lists each crystal and it also gives what the crystal is for. So for the crown, you got the clear quartz. Third eye, you have amethyst. For the throat, you have sodalite. The heart, you have green aventurine. Citrine for the solar plexus and carnelian for the sacral. Black onyx for the root. So you have a, a crystal for each chakra. That's one of our sets. The other set that we have is the third eye chakra set or the third eye crystal set. Once again, it comes with a bag. It has five crystals for this set. And the description card lists the crystal and also the attributes. So you have appetite, which boosts psychic abilities. Amethyst, which enhances intuition. Labradorite, which is highly mystical. Sodalite, which deepens meditation. And clear quartz, which is a stone of power. And also, uh, any clear quartz works with all the chakras. So this is our third eye chakra set. We used to have another third eye set, but we sold out of that and uh, we couldn't get the crystals that we had in that set. So we went on ahead and made another set for you. So you have two sets that you can get from us. And like I said, even if you heard the description, you want to find crystals at your local shop and use those for the third eye or the seven chakra, use all those crystals for all your chakras then. So be it, it's not a big deal. But this has been a video. My name is Ali. If you want to find out more information about myself and what we do, make sure to visit our website, thirdeyeactivation.com. Until next time, peace.